Hi, hier ist Eric vom Laserscanning TV um, and uh, we have the April session and um, I was thinking that maybe it's not so many news on the market in case of coronavirus, but I find so many interesting things that I have to make me some notes that I uh, tell you everything what is important for this month. Okay, let us start. Uh, we will do I have something for hardware. We have software news and we have accessory news. And we have also some information to events in the web. Okay, let us start. Um, we Here I find in the laser scanning forum, there's Nevis. Uh, they give some information that they bring something out. As you know, Nevis is this trolley-based stuff um, where you have these uh, slam-based trolley with a very good panorama camera on top for mobile mapping indoor. And they show here something. We see here's also a mobile scanner, but it looks like looks here that they will have something what is maybe a backpack solution are they will coming out with this in in maybe a few weeks so i don't know if there anything you can you can uh, subscribe to this newsletter also never tells that they improve their possibility to measure indoor having higher accuracy uh, especially if you measure in in pictures then sometimes you have problem that you pick the wrong points and they do there something some new Uh, option for measurement in, uh, in the scan data. Okay, going uh, further, it's uh, hardware staff, Leica, they announced that now you can use the BLK with the more advanced uh, registration software, like, like on um, Cyclone Register SP60 BLK edition, very long word, and uh, also the Leica Cyclone Field app. As you, in the past, uh, they, at first you was only able to use it with a recap from Autodesk, then I think you can use it in in a Cyclone um, Direct and now you have this re register uh, app for use this one in the BLK edition. Okay, uh, next one, it's uh, maybe you'd like to check it out. There, Some people developed a uh, developer, I think he come from, uh, I don't know, maybe PlayStation. Um, they developed a very own scanner by themselves, like in uh, Intel ReSense, uh, a board, like in desktop, write something by themselves. And the interesting is like here, that uh, who you can use it. Um, it's a kind of a small slam scanner. Um, and they show the results. You see the results are not the same like a GeoSlam or a BLK to go. But for the results for somebody who make them by themselves, it's very uh, yeah, that's very amazing results for uh, self-development. You can check this out. Uh, Raspberry PE handheld 3D scanner is the name for YouTube. Then uh, next, uh, going from hardware to software, our friends from PointCap release um, the 3.9 version R6. There's some improvements with sort of some new stuff with the GeoSlam data. They have a change in the camera view for planar and origin. Then they have um, Control C and transformation calculator. And they fix some uh, stuff in the software. Also for everybody who are on the maintenance, uh, They can upgrade now the point cap version and also on point cap side, but it's pretty nice. Um, it's that they uh, making a lot of events now in this Corona time where everybody stay home. They do a lot of uh, webinars together with different companies. We do something. Now you see GeoSlam doing something. We had Teledyne there. Uh, there was um, Dr. Williams from Scantra speaking about accuracy, cloud to cloud registration. You will see there's something with drones coming up. It's a uh, part is in English and part is in German. Uh, I get the information from Nicole, the marketing lady from uh, PointCap, that in the next month we will see also uh, uh, also new shows uh, to different topic. Uh, people like this, uh, check this out, PointCap, and then under events on the start page, uh, you find this information. More to software, the Italian company Reconstructor uh, uh, say that the new version 4.2 can also handle now large 3D data sets for mobile mapping. I know from the history, there was more RAM-based data processing. I think there was some limitation in the software and now they, they put something inside that they can also handle like big data sets like you see it here. Okay, that's something new from Reconstructor. Then we find something out uh, very new. It's a startup from Germany, from Berlin. They call them Pointly. And they say they have an intelligent cloud-based software solution uh, for classify and analyze big data 3D point clouds. So this is more for, you know, URV stuff, 
uh, lighter from UAV, maybe airborne lighter uh, um, stuff. Um, check this out. Uh, they tell that they will launch these services in the second uh, quarter of this year. Okay, and here you see they have also some uh, key features. What's them? What they uh, doing there in the software? Can you also check the website? They call them Pointly. .ai. Geoslam, friends. Uh, sorry, I have it only in English here on our website because we do the German part. Uh, Geoslam have the demo in the box action. This means if you are interested customer uh, uh, and like to see the Geoslam, but you don't want to see a sales rep in your office because of coronavirus, um, you can get a demo in the box uh, system that uh, Geoslam sent you a box with a Geoslam and the local um, dealer or the local salesman from Geoslam will assist you and you can do your demo by your own and this um, this option is a worldwide uh, option for customer in the whole world okay um, next it's uh, accessory stuff from us we bring a ground level tripod for Leica RTC we have this product over longer time for the ferro scanner was very successful from beginning. Normally, as new accessory took a uh, time in our shop, uh, and then people like to uh, interest it and order it. But this goes straight forward, and now we bring this very good product um, also for the Leica RTC. And I can show you a picture for what you need. This you see it here. It's um, it is a, a ground tripod. If you want to put your scanner on the ground, like the foot or some in the factory or something outside. Like the Leica RTC, they have an, this scanner have a big ground plate. It stays safe, but you know it's um, around fifty thousand dollar system. You don't want to put them in the in the dust or scratch the surface. And for this, uh, you have the option use this ground plate. They have small feet to adjust it. The scanner cannot fall down, and uh, you don't scratch your expensive measurement system. You know. Um, okay. Uh, next product. Also, we have a lot of today in the RTC session. You know, people like our reference spheres, the basic and also the flexi. We do some some testing that you can also use this with the RTC C60 and the BLK 360. Also, the same with our uh, checkerboard targets. There we have these uh, flexible where you can move it in different direction, and we have also uh, target plates. Yeah, you look here. There's a lot of other targets plates. If you want to put this on the pole here. Yeah, like for outside. And these are now uh, free for the Leica uh, instruments too. And the end, we have also do some accessory for the Geoslam, the Geoslam ZTB car mount. Uh, That's a product where you can put your Geoslam and uh, to show how it works, I have also a video for you. Uh, here we jump in. Also you put your Geoslam here on these profiles. That's very safe. Also you put the data logger on top and then you have different mounts. You have this flexible mount, what we here have. Don't do it so strong like my colleague, otherwise you have holes in your roof. And the other option what you have is that you can use these, um, the same adapter uh, on uh, this construction on the car, what you use typical for mount, like in maybe your bicycle or your surfboard. Yeah, that's, you see it's a very safe construction what we developed here and then you can use this uh, vertical um, pole to get in higher position that you can scan better uh, on the ground and while we do it flexible you know you have to mount it this see it here in the video and if you are finished then you can start your system and then you have your easy mobile mapping system and, uh, and this is the last information what I like to give you uh, stay safe click our channel Give us a thumb up and we see you to the next uh, video.